Hello everyone, this is my essay proposal for Andrew Atkinson CT280 course, or also known as Popular Culture and Meaning. My focus for my paper will revolve around how technology shapes our society, specifically the adverse influences it has on children or adolescents. To support my topic, I'll focus on different forms of technology that are present in our modern world, technology such as video gaming, different forms of social media, and television. So the reason I chose this topic was because as a future educator, I'm interested to see how these popular forms of technology can influence the children who I may one day end up teaching. So take a minute and ask yourself these questions. Have you ever seen children with iPhones in their hands staring at their screen for a long period of time? Or do you know an adolescent who was glued to their iPhone or maybe even their gaming system? I know I've certainly seen each one of these scenarios before, so that is why I want to investigate more about them. In my paper, I will first start out by looking at how individual gaming system has an adverse influence on children or adolescents. When it comes to video games, many adolescents and children take part in playing and is known to influence several areas of emotion, cognitive, and behavioral functioning. So a study titled The Impact of Prolonged Violent Video Gaming on Adolescent Sleep focused on video gaming and how it affects sleep. So I thought this was very interesting because video gaming is a prevalent pastime among adolescents and the article states that at least 75% percent of males playing video games every week and up to nine percent reporting an excessive video game habit. The result of this study did show a cause and effect relationship between video gaming and sleep which will help me shape my argument. Um, the study found that prolonged violent video gaming about 150 minutes led to a 27 minute decrease in adolescent sleep and a seven percent sleep efficiency decrease. Next I was interested on checking out the use of video games and if it affected the development of children in the article video gaming and children's psychosocial well-being. Specifically addressing the relationships between different forms of video gaming and the psychosocial development of children, meaning the psychological and social change children undergo during development, including attention and how children can relate to their peers. The results show that gaming was frequently associated with the increase in internalizing problems such as anxiety and depression. It was also stated in the study that video games are known to evoke negative emotions and frustration in particular. And finally, playing video games may have been associated with other negative outcomes which led to emotional problems. For instance, heightened video game play may lead to poor scholastic performance or social isolation. As a future educator, school performance is important to me, so the negative effect on video gaming will come in the way of children's learning, which can negatively affect them in the long run. Again, these negative effects relate to my thesis and help shape my argument. So as video gaming is often one of the popular forms of technology that is prevalent in our society, many different forms of social media also plays a role on adolescents and children. In Huffington Post, it mentioned how the influence of social media on adolescents is important, not only because this group of individuals are developmentally vulnerable, but also because they are the group that use social media the most. According to the findings, 75% of teens in America profiles on social networking sites, of which 68 use Facebook as their main networking tool. As Facebook is a great way to connect, there can be some downfalls as people can get what is called Facebook depression, which is defined as an emotional disturbance that develops when preteens and teens spend a large amount of time on social networking sites. To explain this further, the study titled Growing Up Wired, evidence suggested that social networking websites differentially relate to adolescents' social connectivity and identity development with sociability, self-esteem, and nature of social networking websites feedback. Searching social networking websites can lead children and adolescents to socially compare themselves. These types of comparisons have a strong impact on their self-esteem in a negative light. Through social networking websites such as Instagram or Facebook, these allow individuals to post photos of themselves for others to see. In a study of 425 individuals, they revealed that seeing other photos um, made them believe that those people posting the photos were better off and happier. Females also reported a negative response to body image, and males reported about career status, so these can um, affect them in the long run and their self-esteem, which will help shape my argument. Lastly, cyberbullying is a huge conflict when it comes to social media, as individuals can use websites as an easy outlet to pick on other individuals, which can lead to child depression. So lastly, I wanted to touch on watching television and if it affects children and adolescents. Television seems to be one of the most prevalent technology influence in children and adolescent lives. According to the 2011 Active Healthy Kids Report Card on Physical Activity for Children and Youth, Canadian youth ages um, 6 to 19 average about 6 hours of screen time per day, which is a large amount of time, which will probably affect them negatively. And also according to the article Children Media Use and Self-Regulation Behavior, um, those who watch TV for about 4 to 5 hours had a greater risk of problematic self-regulatory behavior. Moving forward, sometimes parents can't control or don't know what their child is watching, so they could be watching something violent or not appropriate for their age. Um, so the result of watching these shows could increase uh, fear, desensitization for real-life violence, and increase aggression behavior. 
Finally, a common point is that watching a large amount of television can affect the development of children. Television can affect learning and school performance. If it cuts into time that children need for activities to health, healthy mental development. Um, and overall, I found these topics interesting and very prevalent to our society, as we are a technological society where individuals at a young age are becoming very technologically advanced. So thank you for watching and I hope you found this informative.